What up, people? This is Vigilante for two minutes and some change. That's 2-M-A-S-C. Then you know it's me, the original two minutes. Damn, man. Black people, we can just get into some shit that don't make sense. And we are shout out on the fuckery every single time. Whether it be Luke Skywalker, Trick Daddy, and other Miamians walking out. Going after Meek, and I'm not defending Meek one bit, but man, can y'all please have that same tenacity and that same willingness to go all out for the injustice that's in your city, that's in your state? Can you go out for that? Damn, you don't see these other white executives acting like this. You don't see the other white stars acting like this. Damn. Damn. We keep taking the L's. We keep taking the L's and looking so stupid because we're so souped up when it comes to attacking each other. Where the phone call at? Where the phone call to get clarity on it? What's up with this WWE bullshit? Man, white supremacy got their cigar in their mouth. (sighs) Just sit back and let the niggas destroy each other. Man, hip hop. I still love hip hop, but damn, come. I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know what the hell happened. To the music that used to inspire me. It still do for those that are conscious. And those are at least having fun with the music. And knowing what they doing with their money. We're bragging about stuff that we can't even compete with. We can't even compete with the money these people got. But we're showing off and talking about what we're buying. All for another nigga to see. Somebody please go pick up Still Standing. By Goody Ma. Classic album. All for another nigga to see. That's all we do. We get hyped off that. Somebody speaks speaks a little truth. People get butt hurt. Damn, man. Another rant, y'all. This has been Vigilante for Two Minutes and Some Change. I went over. That was the change. Okay, Dre Mac, you don't have to save me and give me something to think about, bro. Give me something to think about. What's up? This is your man, Dre Mac, coming to you with another history note in the middle of two minutes and some change with your man, Vigilante, only on iHeartRadio. Now, I know we, as black folks, sometimes we use racial... I want to say not necessarily slurs or anything like that, but we'll be quick to call somebody a coon or Uncle Tom um, or the N-word. But let me tell you something about Uncle Tom. Now, we throw that around as somebody who sold out. They sold out their regular Uncle Tom. Um, But did you know who the real Uncle Tom was? Now, I'm not talking about the Uncle Tom's Cabin that was um, plagiarized and completely flip-flopped by Harriet uh, Beecher Stowe. I ain't talking about that. I'm I'm talking about Josiah Henson. Do you know who Josiah Henson is? He was actually a slave, a former slave. Do you know this man helped 100 slaves uh, become free? Don't know that. Worked down the Underground Railroad. But the only thing we know is what we call folks that sold out. Now, I remember watching the episode of um, the Jeffersons. And they talked about Josiah Henson. How uh, Sherman Hensley, you know, kept calling him Uncle Tom. You're Uncle Tom. You're a sellout. You're Uncle Tom. And he had to give him a history note on Josiah Henson. And from that day forward, you can call me an Uncle Tom because a real Uncle Tom is coming to save you, not trying to enslave you. Again, this is your man, Drake Mack. Please follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, 
Dre Mac 99. And again, once you start knowing your history, a lot of stuff becomes clear. Now back to you, Vigilante. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to send that to Trick Daddy. <laughs> I mean, I like Trick Daddy, man. I like his music. I like this movement. I like how he helped, you know, continue that movement with two live crew and all that. But, man, come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Bigger fish to fry. Out. <laughs>